When a ballerina in a dance, one of the most important thing is to try to capture a beautiful position. But those moments are so quick. So you need to make sure really that you have the gears that you can rely on. It's super helpful to have a photographer that's also a dancer because they know what kind of angles work and the collaboration between the choreographer and the photographer is so important because we all have to mesh well together. I think one of the things that's most fascinating about dance photography is really because dance is such a temperamental or a fickle art. You know, it's really there and then it's not. And that feeling that you can capture something that happened, that's really special. Okay, and music. For me, what's challenging is really dramatic, very dark lighting, which we very often get in ballet or contemporary shows. And I was just anxious to see is the camera going to be able to go high speed enough to capture movement and I have to say that the camera did exceptionally well. Doing this photo shoot in the dark it was quite the experience. I really had to feel my core and rely on my technique. I was so excited to see the photos on the back of the camera because the way that Laurent captured the light and all of the shadows and the way the dress lit up was really amazing. We got to try one of the new features, which is Snapbridge. It was really straightforward and every picture you take goes straight to your phone. You can just share it to any social media. And that's something that appeals quite a lot to me. It's, it's nice to be able to do that straight away, like you would do with your phone. It's really wonderful because I get to share the art form with not only fans and other ballet dancers and such, but also friends, because I feel like I'm saving the moment and I get to relive it. When it comes to text picture, using a phone is usually quite convenient. If you want to go a bit further and if you want to be a bit more creative, and that's when you want to look maybe the next step. After spending the day using the Nikon D3400, I think it's quite an obvious choice because you know it really has everything you need. Mm -hmm.